What is going on you guys? I'm Super Rebel and in today's video I'm going to be talking about how you can unlock weapons in Just Cause 3 and the graphics options that have been revealed. As always if you guys do enjoy this video I'd really appreciate it if you could drop a like on it or if you don't enjoy it feel free to dislike the video and let's just jump right into it. So the first thing I want to start off by talking about is actually about the weapons. Now some of you guys might have already seen this or some of you may have not seen it but either way one of you really awesome rebels sent me this screenshot and it's basically how you can technically unlock weapons in the game. Now long story short what happened here is they took over the base and this is what came upon screen. The USV 45 Sokol if that is how you pronounced it is basically now unlocked and appears in your rebel drop list. Now as I mentioned a few seconds ago literally what this person done was just take over the base and this is what came up on the screen. Now with that said I'm also assuming as I've mentioned many many times before that maybe whilst you are taking over the base you have to get a few like specific kills in that specific moment for example five headshots three headshots using a pistol for example or something along those lines in order to unlock this weapon but either way this is one way how to go about getting new weapons in the game which I thought was pretty cool and I wanted to share that with you guys now the next thing that has been revealed is the graphics options for this game and I didn't really see is coming but it has been revealed and it is actually pretty awesome as you guys can see there is a list and there's a load of different options I mean you got resolution you got water detail at this moment it is very high but I guess if you wanted to make the water look like crap you can technically do that although I don't really know why you would want to make the water look crap but that's not the point. The point is you can still make it look crap, so that's kind of cool. Below that, you got another little option, the LOD factor. Then you got shadow quality, motion blur, edge fade, and just a ton of different options. And I honestly thought this was great. It really does give you that option to customize the game to your own standard, if that makes sense. So like your own comfort in playing the game. And I think it's going to improve people's experience when they are playing the game in general because not all games have like this many options or barely any options in the first place. So the fact that the Just Cause 3 team has added this into the game is actually a good thing. Like that is really good. Big well done to the team over there because I can assure personally from talking from my own experience it is going to give me a better gameplay experience. But anyway guys that about wraps up this video. Be sure to subscribe if you guys haven't already for more awesome Just Cause 3 content and I will catch you guys in the next one but till then adios amigos